Yes, we will do this one right now then. Woohoo! Oh my gosh, question. I'm already impressed. I just Hamanar and Ios open marriage insider secret wild mage sex cult. They fucking did a oh TMZ episode. This, I love them. His it's nightlife it's escapade. Oh. Who is this new man in his life? One member. She oh. let me rub my face against the carpet whenever I want. Oh my god, <laughs> notes to the Who nihilist of Ganesh. Who could ah, it be? One, this of is, the, ah. one, of six, one of the six tieflings in Alavast. Oh my god. I Look, <laughs> you have just, you've made up for all of the sports ball jokes with this. You guys are even. Oh, this is glorious. One member, she lets me rub my face against her cart whenever I want. Joel! Joel! <laughs> Who is this new man in his inside her secret wild mage sex cult? <laughs> <laughs> this is good. We got we okay, okay. 50 500,000 AC lottery just waiting for you to buy the winning ticket. Details inside. Brock's secret love Wait child? What the council doesn't want you to know. Spread Wait a the minute. There's a, there's a QR code in here. Spread the truth via construct. Okay, do the v, do the code. Because I don't dare do it on the stream. Hang on, let's see. Master Mungrarium's Candy Emporium. Delicious sweets and treats for everyone. Is there an Asimar of Liverosia? Hello, friends of the Zoe Yang the Goblin! I have many questions. Why is there only a few angel people? There is a loud one fighting the war, there is a green one, there is a drunk one, there is also one who gives Yang cheesecake. There is no one who oh, is very shiny and nervous. But I need to know why there is no angelly person to the pink lady. Why is there no special lady, or sir? Why are you hiding? Okay, what is the QR code? It's just a link to the Unexpected Bulls Discord. That's okay, good. Good, 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 good. Alrighty, who would like to be the nihilist of Nash today? I, oh God, I, Connor, I feel like we should share this because I really want to do it, but I'm sure you do too. Can you guys take care of this real fast? Let me go take care of something real quick with Gregor. Yeah, go ahead. Um, he spilled his water. All right, let's, let's do it. Rourke's <laughs> secret love child with the council. Does oh, God. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, do you want to be the nihilist of Ganache or do you want to be the people? I want to be the nihilist. I figured you did. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Dear nihilist of Ganache. I have been struggling to maintain the fire in my relationship with my husband. We just had our 17th wedding anniversary, and I just feel like the old magic isn't around anymore. We seem to have settled into a routine where he returns from work, settles in, and reads the evening paper while I massage my friends back and forth with my sending stone. We don't go out like we used to when the city was new, and... This lack of energy and enthusiasm also affects the more intimate parts of our relationship, as in, there aren't any much at all. W what can I do to bring the excitement back in into our relationships? I'm the spiritless spouse. Attention, shirtless spouse. <laughs> Your pathetic whining is shrill noise to the ears of Ganache. The answer is simple. Go with your mate and raid the nearest settlement of the weak, civilized people. Bathe in their blood, for it is the most potent aphrodisiac. If your mate does not wish to couple in the smoldering remains of your enemy's homesteads, then cast him aside, for he is weak and chaff to be ground beneath your conquering feet. Also, consider a date night every other week. It helps to have a time designated for activity, rather than waiting for it to spontaneously happen. Have dinner, catch a play, or simply mount the heads of the week on pikes. Well, um, so that's cheating. Um, it's amazing, but it's cheating. How dare you? I have been shown up and there's nothing I can do. Great. Okay. I'm just going to read the next one. Fucking show off your fancy ass soundboard, you bullshit echo maker. <laughs> uh, Nihilist of Ganache. My clan has been in crisis as many are wavering in their devotion to destruction because we have not heard from Ganache in so long. I have kept the faith. 
I have led my clan against the forces of the pathetic, invading humans and my own treacherous and unfaithful kin. I have painted the poles of my lodge with blood and even dined on the bones of a draggling who dared ally with my enemies and reunited my clan once again. What I want to know is what is a good gift for a one month anniversary. Um, it's, it's a little weird to want to celebrate. Uh, our first date was when we drove our enemies into the sea. I was thinking about perfume, but I don't know what flavor she likes. Uh, either that or uh, finding her some uh, pelts that accent her auburn hair. Signed, Troubled Tanarok, totally not gruel. Wait, oh, is that a Troubled Tanarok. Attention, Troubled Tanarok. I praise your unwavering devotion to Ganash. Worshippers like you are the bedrock upon which all opposition will be crushed. Especially the devotees of the ups. Who is calling me? <laughs> the devotees of the upstart mechanical god. They are the worst and should be crushed like the silly crystal perfume bottles left over after you consume their contents. I do not think celebrating a one month anniversary is weird, especially since you had such an auspicious first encounter. Finding a mate who loves slaughter and destruction as much as you do is always a blessing. Just be careful of those redheads. They have a fiery temper. Indeed they do. <clears throat> I know who this last one is and I love it. Uh, to the nihilist of Ganache, I thirst for destruction, and I hear the sound of skulls of my enemies crunch beneath my feet, but I am constrained by the laws of this land. The only thing that prevents me from running riot and making the streets run red with blood is the constant looming threat of the city guard. Also, my job at the pet store takes up a lot of my time, and so does my other work, which involves keeping five jerks in check and making sure they don't go completely off the rails. I am just waiting for the day when I can ravage the countryside with my rat minions. But my schedule is just so tight, and finding time between projects for mayhem is really difficult. I am also a little worried that when the snow finally melts, the authorities will start finding the body. Signed, Playful Pigeon. Attention, Playful Pigeon. Your devotion to carnage and destruction is inspiring. I am sure that you will find some way to work in crushing the pathetic civilized masses into your schedule. The trick is to schedule regular times for slaughter. Also consider small acts of mayhem in between larger tasks. Don't worry about the bodies that come to light with the melting snow. Proudly point to them as signs of your prowess in the bloody art of combat. Play the thawed flesh and make ornaments of their bones. Feed their entrails to your rodent minions and fear no repercussions. The faithful of Ganache are above the law. Breaking the law, breaking the law. I feel like I should do that again, but the whole time I should just be like, oh, you know, eh, I thirst for destruction. I, I, will the I, I as, 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 as another Canadian, if you, I, I don't you dare. Don't well, you, you know, there I thirst for destruction and hear the sounds of the skulls of my enemies crunch beneath my feet. But I am oh, constrained by the laws what? of this land. Fuck, go on. Oh, don't you? We should go out there you, and get all ripped there, bud, you know? After my weekly slaughter, I like to go down to Timmy's and pick up some blood. Oh, yeah, no, Timmy's fucking, is a really fucking good Fucking get a there. fucking double-double, right? Like, get fucking Dude, four double-doubles, totally do. man, we for the whole for crew. a rip and get there a double-double there, eh? Yes, absolutely. But I don't, okay, from the common laugh, this looks, this looks really great. Guys, we need to be on our best behavior during this tribunal so we don't get into trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
No, seriously, panic. We could get into big trouble. You, if you screw around here and we might be arrested, fine. Or worse, maybe you'll get off light. But with your past legal trouble, this, you could be hung. <laughs> <laughs> Too late, I already am. Look at that fucking uh, face. Look at these faces. I, I fucked up that Greco's line. That, that's fine. It's it's all good. Does Those fucking. Oh, wait, let me do Remy's line. Oh. All right, I'm done. Mm -hmm. uh? Remy's just like, oh shit, we're fucked. He's <laughs> holding a bag that says memes. Because I got the big dick. Dude. The fucking fucking they're fucking fa Greckles look so intense and they're <laughs> He's like, oh my god. <laughs> the fucking the world is gonna earn. The fucking <laughs> face on those two. Who okay, I'm sorry, who did the common laugh? Was that Boo? What? Uh the the the, the comic. Who did this? Me, Mr. Corbeau, yes. Yes. Fenrir lives. Thank you. Okay. Fenrir, your facial expressions are so on point. I love it. Also, the framing of this is fantastic. The script of this is damn fantastic. I can't get enough of Greckles and Panic's face in the bottom panel. I can't. Thanks, Chalem wrote it. Oh, good job, Chalem, on writing this. This is good. Do you guys want to pick two articles and read them off as well, guys? I mean, I guess we could do that. Uh, let's see. Normal human on the loose. There's also uh, <clears throat> Golden Beard and Puppy Man. Oh, that Doomsday actually sounds really good, but I feel City. like that's you. You should totally read that. Okay, I will do Golden Beard and Puppy Man. I'll read that one while you select your other two guys, okay? Yes. Haven't okay. you been missing time? Are you recalling memories that don't link up? Are you having trouble sleeping at night? A feeling that you aren't in control of yourself? Waking up with bruises, scratches, black eyes, or broken bones? Have you or anyone know you known have found a polished belt hanging around the household with no recollection of where it came from? Well, the past couple months, many citizens have been made claims of these events happening to them. Some in the middle of the day, but mostly it appears at night. At first, people thought they were cursed, but the temples of the gods found nothing affecting these people. Many of them have started to form little groups to try and piece together what is going on. While most have no real recollection, some of the strongest have been able to compile what happens. This is the story. It happens so suddenly. The world freezes, and I feel like I'm floating, but I'm not. It's, it's in this haze that the puppy man comes. He's standing there with his long, dark hair, a charming smile, and a pug puppy hanging from his chest. Next to him... Is a, is a doomsday is a doorway. He just smiles and his eyes glow and he says, The gorilla position is this way. You're on next. I find myself compelled to walk through the doorway. From there, it's lights and voices. I'm in a box of ropes. Sometimes it's steel. There's another person in front of me. Sometimes I recognize them. Most times I don't. The room is full with other humans cheering. Sometimes they stand up. Other times they're sitting down. Then I'm fighting, fighting for them. Many share this tale. While well, details for many are the same, with gaps in the memory for most, others have recently claimed to see a golden bearded man with a matching golden voice ushering them to his doorway. They have sought help from the temples and the guards, but they have been of little help. Many of the educated of the group have come to believe that these, these beings are from another plane of existence outside of our realm of being. These outer beings seem to be able to pluck anyone they see at any point without warning, and we are powerless to stop them. They might come for you next. If you or anyone know recalls anything, please seek out Alavastian guard Zoff Redlum from the Department of Unexplained Occurrences. Nice. That was an MNW reference. I hope y'all got that. <laughs> I did. Was hey. it? Yeah, it was. I don't get it. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it was, I don't get it. Are it's you fine, fucking? No, are you fucking kidding me? No, I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. You just don't want people to boo you on this stream. What? I, what? I, what? What? Stop All right, which it. one are you guys no. going to read? Uh, I can do the native Alabastian scholars believe. Okay, go for it, dude. Okay. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> oh, of course I picked the freaking one with all the crazy names. Have fun. Yay. 
Due to ongoing lawsuits from the Temple of Olmen, we are forced to include the quotation marks around the word scholars to legally separate them from actual scholars. This attack is meant to hamper our reporting on the real news that the council wants to keep hidden. Our sources are legit men of science. An enlightened group of scholars from the Xanathar Archaeological Institute have theorized that there was a native Alavastian population that lived in the continent prior to our arrival. The leader of this group of scholars, Professor Jericho Hornheaded, had this to say. When you look at all the evidence, there is absolutely nothing to disprove the native Alavastian population. And once you have that outlook, there are a number of possible scenarios. Could the previous civilization have been all lizard folk, rat folk, or something we haven't seen yet? And yet, if there was a previous civilization, what happened to them? Where are they now? And will they come back? When asked about this unwarranted attack on his research as being junk science, Jericho had this response. I know there are a lot of cheap skeptics out there who don't want to know the truth, but ancient legends are a bridge to finding out what truly happened in the past. The more we dare to explore the legends and myths, the closer we get to the truth and the shrine of the silver monkey. Connor! Yeah. Would you like to read one more for us? Sure. I'll read Normal Human on the Loose. Oh, we gotta stop him. Get him. The Alavast Neighborhood Watch of Concerned Citizens has placed an all-point bulletin for what is being described as a perfectly ordinary, unremarkable human. This phenomenon, unprecedented in the city's history, should be reported to the nearest Neighborhood Watch member. Do not trust the guard. They are aware of the issue and are trying to keep it hidden from the people of Alavast and will pretend they do not know what you are talking about and ask if you've taken a head wound. This is code for memory erasure. The individual is described as being of perfectly average height and weight, possibly portly or a little on the thin side, but not in a way that would make you say, oh, that's different and interesting. <laughs> they have flesh-toned skin and two eyes of identical earthly hue. No heterochromatia. This is important. And haircut the way their barber has been doing it for years. <laughs> the human is not known to be armed or dangerous and therefore should be treated with the utmost caution. Do not engage them in conversation. They have no interesting past and instead of hinting at the possibility of royal or cursed ancestry or a hidden lycanthropic disease or of some kind of ancient dragon curse, they will instead ask you about simple things like the state of the weather or directions to that quaint tea shop on Melvin Street. Know that the only, only know that the know the one that Cheryl recommended and she always goes there on Sundays. If the human approaches you in this way, scream as loudly as you possibly can to prevent their words from reaching your ear holes and continue to do so as you flee. The human was last spotted near the Druidic District asking something about tickets to see animals in a perfectly sensible enclosure. Our network of totally anonymous sources has claimed that the area has already been evacuated in a 500 meter radius to avoid being affected by the human's high density normalizing field. It has been reported that several adventurers, erroneously assuming the human may have information on a quest, have already been trapped in its clutches as they continue to pester the human to no avail for hidden or interesting dialogue. The quester, the questioner can only tell you to stay safe, pray to your gods for salvation, and stay in your home. As to be sure, and be sure to subscribe to our mail order issue of the Attic Questioner for up-to-date information on the human whereabouts and when it will be safe to go out again. All right, thank you, everybody. Credits for the Attic Questioner. Cario <laughs> Ryan 1, Fozzy Wolf, Nutcase Art, Fenrir Lives, Ryleberg, Froggy's Mom, the Nihilist of Nash. The Threadweaver, Jim the Rabbit Cow, and Suit 47 Guys, if you haven't already, if you haven't already checked this out, folks, give this a freaking read.